In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to save a ridiculous amount of time with your photography editing using today's sponsor, Evoto AI. We're gonna cover everything ranging from sky replacements, removing skin defects, retouching, changing backgrounds, and even removing wrinkles from clothing with all of these edits taking nearly seconds to do. So let's just jump into it. For this particular wedding that you're looking at, it was a very, very bright day. And on bright days, we're left with white skies. But if you wanted to add back in some detail into your photos, we can come along here and we've got some different options underneath the sky replacements. We've got blue skies, bright blue skies, sunset and sunrise skies, as well as starry nights. So for this particular image and considering how bright it was this day, I'm probably gonna come over to bright blue skies and click on sky number two. Now straight away, you'll notice that it's cut around the edges of the tree extremely well. Like this does not look like it's been really badly photoshopped in. But one thing you might not have picked up on is, of course, we've got our bride and groom perfectly in focus, as I should do. It is my job to do that. And then the background falls off nicely out of focus. But the sky replacement that we've got going on is perfectly sharp and in focus, which doesn't make sense at all. It should be at least slightly out. So we can come down to this option down here, which is sky blur. And we're just ever so slightly going to adjust that. And you'll see straight away the difference that it's made to our clouds. You'll see now it's blurred out just like it should be to match our background. And if we look at the before and after, it makes a hell of a difference to the image, to be fair. As much as I like a white sky with weddings, I really think this adds some saturation to the image. So the portrait itself, this portrait here, we haven't touched upon the skin or the de-wrinkling of anything here. We've only done a sky replacement. So if we were to come over here to the preset tab, and you'll notice that we've got quite a few presets that we can run through here and try out. So if we click on say glowing zero one, you'll notice that it's done all of the face retouching for us. And you can just select which one works for this image and maybe just use it as a baseline to start and then edit upon that. Now, imagine you're out shooting portraits of a lovely model. You bring the raw files home all ready for editing. And before we even get started on the AI adjustments, we can upload all those raw files into a photo and do all the normal editing that you typically do in say Lightroom. And that's without even mentioning all the free presets that come with Evoto. So now that I've edited the raw file, you can see I've made my basic adjustments on the right hand side here. We're gonna come over to the portrait retouching section. So because we're gonna be working very closely on the model's face here, I decided to zoom in just so you can really see the difference as to what we're gonna be doing. So the first thing you'll notice is that our slider is called the freckle and acne. Now, if we just pump this straight up to 100, you can already see the difference that it makes. If we do a before and after here, you can see it's really smoothed out the skin. If you notice on the right eye though, we can get rid of the wrinkles going on there as well as the dark circles around the eyes. The next section is the skin retouching, starting off with smooth face skin. So you'll notice that when we turn this up, if we did it all the way, you really get that sort of magazine look. And then we can also come down here and do a bit of smoothing on the skin and a little bit of body smoothing as well. Now this part is what really blew my mind when it comes to a Voto. We can actually go in and kind of reconstruct the model's face, if that's something you needed to do, of course. We definitely don't need to do this to this model, but just for the purpose of showing off, we will. <laughs> so if you notice, when we bring the face slider to the left, we can actually pinch in the model's face. We can also adjust the jawline. Again, go into the left, we can bring that in and just sort of make it just a teensy bit sharper. This next one is crazy. We can literally shrink the face. So <laughs> obviously going to 100, it looks a bit insane. But if you wanted, you can just do it just a smidge. The next thing you'll notice with the model is that we do have ever so slightly just some red veins going on here in the eyes. That's another thing we can also get rid of. By coming over to the eyes section, there is a removing red veins. If we just pump this up all the way, 
they're gone. Now it does smooth the eyes out quite a bit. So again, I would just dial it back ever so slightly, maybe to 50% so that we are still reducing the amount of redness that's in the eyes, but it's not giving it that fake look. Now on the topic of eyes, we can also come in and make our own reflections or our own catch lights. So if we go through the different options here, you can see that as I make my way through, it sort of gives that studio lighting kind of look. I'd maybe go for something just a little bit more subtle, just to add in that brightness into the eyes. And talking about brightness of the eyes, we can actually go in and just edit the eyes and just pump up that brightness just a little bit so that when we zoom out, you can really see that your eyes are drawn to her eyes. They really pop in this portrait now. I think something that's even crazier than that is that we even have presets for different makeup kinds. We've got nude, chick, sweet, youthful, vintage, we're just adding on makeup that was never there. If you feel like you've, say, added on a preset like this one, which seems to be quite intense, there is a slider down here where we can dial it back a bit so that it's not in your face and doesn't look fake because we don't want our images to look fake and we get something that looks a hell of a lot more natural. On top of all these face settings that we have, we can also quickly touch up upon the teeth. So if we were to zoom in here, again, luckily for the model, she has great teeth, but we do have this slider here, which when we punch it all the way up, you'll notice that it's gonna give the teeth that extra glow of white, which is a little subtle touch, but again, with all the other editing that we're doing, it makes a huge difference. So what happens when we're working with a client that maybe has a fair bit of acne? And maybe they request that you remove the acne in every single photo from that photo shoot. Typically, this is something that I would say no to, just because of how long it would take, especially if you're working with, say, maybe around 50 images, it would take a long time to go in and remove the acne from every single photo but not anymore. So the reason I wouldn't refuse to do this anymore is because once I've worked on one image and we've perfected the amount of blemish removal, skin retouching, and even reshaping of the face, we can actually apply that same edit to every single image in our project. So to do that, we simply come down to the bottom here where it says save presets. Now we've got portrait retouching ticked here. We can click save. So all we're gonna do is select every image that we've got from the shoot and then click sync. And now we've applied that preset to every single photo we took during that photo shoot. So when we look at the before and after of every single image we took here, you'll see that all the edits have been applied. And my personal favorite is this photo here. This is it fully zoomed out. And if we come in just a little bit, just so we can see a bit more detail in the face, this is the after product. And this is what we were working with before. It's made a world of a difference. And we only had to edit one image for it to edit all of the images in the catalog. Did I also mention that you can use this program to completely get rid of wrinkles out of people's clothes? Well, before we get into that, let's talk about how Evoto work their pricing. So Evoto AI is actually completely free to use, including all of its features. The only thing you pay for is exporting your final image. And you export your images using what's called a credit. So one credit equals one export. Now, typically on Avoto's website, their pricing starts at 1200 credits, but using my link in the description below, you can get just 500 credits for 36.99. Or if you just wanna test the waters first, there is also a link down below so that you can get 30 free credits with your first sign up. No matter which option you choose, there's no subscriptions that are required, no credit cards that need to be tied in, and lastly, no credits will be deducted for any repeat exports. So you can export the same image as many times as you wish and it will not deduct any points. And those credit packs? Well, they're available for one whole year with a conditional extension to two years. So if you want to try all the latest functions completely free, remember to use my link below. But let's get back to the video. So let's talk about the de-wrinkle feature, which is a feature I cannot express enough. I wish I had this just a few months ago for this wedding. So a bit of a backstory, this wedding actually started off great. 
the bride and the groom had their portraits done outside of a castle on a really, really nice day. A little bit of rain, but for the majority, it was very nice. And we got some absolutely stunning portraits that I'm very, very happy with. Now, the ceremony for this wedding, it didn't happen on location of where we were shooting the portraits. It happened in a nearby registry office. Now, to get there, I had to drive the bride and the groom there. The problem with that is that the kind of dress that the bride was wearing, it's more of a skin tight dress. So when she was sat down in my car for say 15 minutes, by the time we got out and we got to the registry office, we ended up with this massive problem. Look at what happened to the dress. It is absolutely smothered in wrinkles. And we've got this little slider up here called the de-wrinkle clothing. Now watch what happens. If we just turn this from zero to 100, bam. Look how much it has fixed the clothing. So if we do a quick before and after, we can see that it's not only sorted the dress out for the majority, it's also done the groom's trousers too. Now here's an image where we're getting a close up of the bride putting the ring on the groom. And that's really, really highlighted what's going on with the dress. So again, we just need to slide this up to 100 and it's gotten rid of absolutely everything. Now this next feature is almost guaranteed to save you a crap ton of time. So usually when you want to separate your subject from the background, your workflow might look a little something like this. Now after doing this myself for many years, I can confirm that this way of doing it is really not fun at all. So how do we work around that? Well, um, we just click uh, that button there and it's done. That's it, it literally, we just we just click one button. It's done all of the cutting out for you and it's done all of the feathering for you. So it doesn't just stop there. We can, if we come over to a different image to use as an example here of this chicken, we can just go ahead and fill in our own backdrop. Now, instead of this chicken photo being taken outside, it looks like we've done it in a studio with a really, really nice backdrop. You can actually see that we have quite a lot of options for all different backdrops that we can choose from. So we can go for solid colors and kind of go for that more pop look, especially with this blue one. That's some proper popping that we've got going on. Uh, me personally, I really like the fabric options because it kind of looks like a backdrop that you would typically find in a studio. So I really like that. But if you wanted just a one color, well, you've got the option to do that, definitely but you're not just limited to the options and the backdrops that Avoto give you. You can actually come up here and click on my backdrops and add in your own image and use that as a backdrop instead, if none of these here would work for you. Before ending this video, I'd like to say a big thank you to Evoto AI for sponsoring this video. Now, as you probably already know, I would only pick up a sponsorship that I feel like is either going to be really useful to me as a photographer or really useful to my audience, which is typically made up of photographers and videographers anyway. If I'm ever presented with a product that I feel like I wouldn't use in real life or outside of just a video, it's not really something that I would want to make a video on but Evoto AI has really blown my mind. Seeing how much I can change in one image with just a single click or just using a slider, it's absolutely unreal. And honestly, if I had had access to Evoto years ago, past all of the weddings and family shoots that I've done in the past, I can't even, I don't want to even begin to imagine how much time that could have saved me or even the better results that could have gone to clients. But I can't have that mindset. I can't think about what I could do with my previous shoots. I need to think about now how I can apply a voter to my future shoots, which I'm seriously going to do. That de-wrinkle feature and the face retouching, that stuff that I would usually do in Photoshop, that would maybe take me 20 minutes per image. But now the fact that it's gonna take me maybe 15 seconds per image to get all of my edits done, especially because I can just work on one image and apply all those presets and all the AI retouch into every single image within that shoot, it's, it's, it's an absolute game changer. And I'm, I seriously can't wait to actually start using this on my future shoots and weddings. So again, Avoto, thank you very much for sponsoring this video. If you enjoyed this video, then of course you can check out more here. And other than that, if you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you again for watching.